On August the 26th, 1883, the tiny volcanic island of Krakatoa erupted, creating one of the worst natural disasters in recorded history. In less than 48 hours, it destroyed hundreds of towns and villages and left more than 36,000 people dead. Those that survived the eruption left diaries, eyewitness accounts, and interviews. They were collected by the geologist Roger Verbeek, one of the few scientists to have witnessed the eruption. This film is based on those accounts. I lived. Tens of thousands didn't. Some of them were my friends. I have spent the last two years of my life trying to piece together the terrible events of August 1883. We were living in the most volcanic region on the planet. Indonesia. There are more than a hundred active volcanoes here. Krakatoa is just one of them. The volcanic island of Krakatoa sits in the middle of the Sunda Straits, 30 miles from the mainland. For centuries the people here have lived within sight of the volcano. We thought it posed no threat. I could have saved these people they witnessed the last days when the world changed forever. Uh, contracts have been issued for the pepper and the customary two and a half percent, which brings us higher yields than Mr. Debris had initially. Money's left in the, uh, the reserve account. Nothing, Tuan. And we still owe 75 guilders interest Crazy. on last Good. Hello. If we don't get the commission on those coolies, the horses are out of control. I'll see you to it. Well, it's fine, I'll see you to it. Willem, have you thought about it? Thought about what? Please. Joanna, I'm sorry, but I can't leave Katimbang. The harvest to arrange, the market opening on Sunday, it's impossible. You know, maybe in a couple of weeks when things... What about the tremors? They're getting worse. In your imagination. It's been rumbling away for months. Please, Joanna, you're going to worry yourself sick about this. I'm sorry, I... Anyway, go where? Anywhere. Batavia, the hill farmer? 
got it, Lou. I'm sorry. See to the horses. The bear inks. Willem was controller of Katenbang, a Dutch outpost. He struggled on his meager government salary. His wife Johanna was 26 years old and a mother of three. We met several times that summer and never saw eye to eye. I should have listened to her. In May 1883, I visited the Schurt family. Having heard reports of increased volcanic activity, I wanted to see this for myself. The Schurts, a Dutch family, lived and worked on the Fourth Point Lighthouse, 30 miles to the east of the island of Krakatoa. Bravo! Isn't she magnificent? Is it dangerous? Of course it's dangerous if you're sitting on top of it. But we're perfectly safe here. There's 30 miles of sea between us. It's the best seat in the house. Enjoy the show. This is the island of Krakatoa, with its three peaks. And where did you land? About here. Weren't you scared? Scared? <laughs> no. I was too busy collecting samples and getting scratched to shreds in the jungle. What makes it explode? Erupt, I mean. Do you still have that piece of pumice you showed me? Yes. We have to live here. Oh, it's just Roger. Please. No, it's not him. It's just... The answer to your question lies in the bubbles. You see them? I'm worried. It's like this beer here. It's full of bubbles. You shake the beer, and the pressure builds up inside. The bubbles need to escape, but they can't until... Oh. <laughs> Joseph, this past your bedtime. Say goodnight to Mr. Verbeek. Good night, Joseph. I've enjoyed our conversation very much. You can keep it. Thank you. Two scientists sharing their knowledge. Eh? Come on, Yusuf. Wait. Why did you say you found this? I found it on the beach. Why? The pumice Joseph gave me held the secret of Krakatoa, a sign of what was happening deep inside the volcano. But at that time, I had no idea what it meant. On the 20th of May, Krakatoa began for the first time to emit vast quantities of smoke. It should have been a warning to us, but for some, this was just a chance to make money. Captain? Captain! You salute your commanding officer. <laughs> J. H. Lindemann captain of the Governor General Loudon. Since the death of his wife and only child two years earlier, he'd been reduced to ferrying passengers around the local area. Listen to this. Join the excursion of a lifetime. Take a boat trip to the furnace of the gods, Krakatoa, and walk on a live volcano, one of the greatest natural wonders of the world. My hotel guests, your ship. The Loudon is not a pleasure steamer. Furnace of the gods is built. Come on, Linderman. We'll make a killing be like the old days. Well, then it seems I wasted my time. 
Enjoy the cigar. Garrett, morning tides at 6 a.m. Tell your guests to be on time. <laughs> Kamu berdua, huh? sayang. Atakah harus aku memanggil kamu tuan? Beri hmm? kekalahan seperti orang Belanda. Takaya, Willem Baring's clerk, was one of those thousands of Javanese recruited by the Dutch to run the colony. But his loyalty to the Dutch Empire left him isolated. Bangga papila uniform sikulu itu sampai. Aku terpaksa menghalang. Mereka dari tatang ke kawasan pendiaman karena mereka terluing untuk menuju uniform. Bawa anak-anak pulang. Apa yang sedang balaku? Bawa mereka pulang cepat. Aku tidak akan lama. Tanam lada putih mereka. Mereka mencukai pendapatan kita. Inilah cara-cara pembuli dan penyangak. Inilah masa untuk kita sadar. Lalu itu. Putih. On the 27th of May, 1883, the steamship Loudoun took 86 paying passengers on a day trip to Krakatoa. Look at them. Fools. They're paying fools, Lindemann. 25 guilders ahead. Your good health, Captain. Keep it at leeward, Mr. Janssen. Aye, aye, sir. I don't like the look of that smoke. What smoke? Lindemann, I smoke. It doesn't make me dangerous. You just can your money. Leave the ship to me. God in heaven. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! How far to wait from Zor? Three miles, sir. As quick as you can. Hey, 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 hey! I didn't know then what the volcano was telling me. These blasts were a sign. Deep below the earth, magma was clearing a path to the surface. It was only a matter of time before it escaped. Sound the horn, Mr. Janssen, we're leaving! Well, what about the guests? The guests paid in advance, I hope. Out of stand, Mr. Janssen! But you... You can't just leave them! Can't we? They've got half an hour, no more! Be careful with the satchel! Sherman! 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 Oh, You've been sick, Richard. What is it? Only a rumor up here. Sorry. A view of what, damn it? Of that. Krakatoa's 100 miles, give or take. 5,280 feet. On the two. No, I don't. Uh, I have 532,000. That makes it nearly five miles high. Well, precisely. I know it's here somewhere. Got it. What is it? A clue, I think. You see? This pumice is the same, from Tambora. But Tambora was a catastrophic event. Uh, biblical. The, the crater's four miles across. I've seen it myself. Krakatoa's just a couple of vents. You mean Krakatoa will be the size of Tambora? I don't know what it means. I just don't.